Is the LG OLED C1 the best gaming TV for your Xbox Series X in 2021? Well, stick around and I'll let you know why I think it could be. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why the LG OLED C1 is possibly the best gaming TV that you can pick up for your new Xbox Series X. And by the end of this video, if I have convinced you to grab one of these new TVs, then I have left you a link in the descriptions below. So make sure you check that out if you'd like to grab yourself one. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what makes this a great TV for your Xbox Series X. So um, all of the basics are already there, of course. So it is a 4K TV. It does have 120 Hertz refresh rate. It also comes with the HDR10 and it comes with the variable refresh rate. But more specifically, when it comes to gaming, you also wanna look at these features that it has on this TV. And the first one that really kind of stands out to me is the fact that this is NVIDIA G-Sync capable. So it is going to work directly with your Xbox Series X which has that capability as well. And the G-Sync is really going to help with any type of screen tearing that you might see on your Xbox if you didn't have this particular TV. Um, the variable refresh rate should help with that as well, but the NVIDIA G-Sync is going to take care of that even more for you guys. If you're not familiar with variable refresh rate in the first place, what that does is basically it takes the refresh rate that's coming out of the Xbox and it matches it to what's on your TV. So, you know, maybe your refresh rate jumps down from 120 down to 110 or something like that. And what it does is allows your TV to match that same refresh rate so you don't get that screen tearing that we were just talking about. And now another great feature of this TV is that it does have a pretty low input lag of around 13 milliseconds. And as well, if you're looking at the response time, it has a very low response time of only one millisecond. Now, two other things that this has that I think really helps level up that gaming features of the TV. In addition to the HDR10, this TV does include the HGIG, which is the HDR Gaming Interest Group, which is a group of companies that have kind of come together to create a standardized set of guidelines and best practices when it comes to TV settings for HDR gaming. Now, speaking of HDR and getting a really good picture quality and the dark contrast and the lights in there, uh, this is also an OLED TV, which we haven't even really talked about yet. So the, an OLED TV is going to give you millions of self-lit pixels. So again, in those really dark areas or in those really bright areas, you're gonna have a lot of contrast in that, which is gonna really bring out some of those details. It's gonna give you an overall absolutely beautiful picture. In addition, it is going to come with the new A9 Generation 4 processor, which allows for your TV to automatically process and get you the best picture possible based on what you're watching. Now, one other feature that I've been neglecting to mention until right now, because I really feel like this is actually a pretty big selling point for this TV, and that is the fact that this comes with four, yes guys, I said four HDMI 2.1 inputs. Now, this is a, a big selling point to me because if you're comparing this TV to the Samsung QN90A or even like a Samsung uh, Q80T behind me here, those TVs only come with one HDMI 2.1 connection. To me, that's a really big thing because you know looking for future proofing wise as things become more dependent on 2.1 inputs, uh, you know, you're going to need that rather than having to go out and buy another adapter or something in the future. This is already coming with four of those. So maybe, you you know, if you're a gamer, obviously, maybe you're not only looking to plug in your Xbox Series X, but maybe you're also going to get a PlayStation 5. And now you'll be able to just plug those directly into the TV without having to have another type of adapter. So guys, I really feel like that's a very big selling point on this TV as well. Okay guys, and so that's going to lead us to the price of this particular TV. And that is as the time of making this video, you can find a 48 inch version of this on Amazon for $13.99 and the 55 inch version of this, I believe was $15.99, so just under $1,600. Again guys, if you would like to grab yourself one of these TVs, make sure you check out the link in the description below. In my opinion, I really do think you're going to be hard pressed to find a better all around gaming TV for your new Xbox Series X or frankly, even for your PS five if that's what you're playing on and if it weren't for the fact that I have a really good long history with Samsung TVs I probably would have had last year's model the LG CX 
uh, when I purchased this one behind me. I had a really long good history with them and the price was a little bit more in line with my budget. So that's why I went with that one. But man, that C10 and now this C1, oh man, they're just really beautiful TVs and it was really, really hard for me not to take that one. Uh, but because of the pricing, that's where I went. And then also because of my brand loyalty, I guess. But I don't know guys, if I maybe wanna put this one back into my business and maybe go grab myself a C1, I really am tempted to do that. So I really do not think you're going to be disappointed with this particular TV. So guys, let me know what you think of this TV. If you've already bought one, I would love to hear from you. If you're thinking about buying one, you know, let us know. Is there anything that maybe I missed that I should have gone over? Let everybody else know about those things. Or if there's any complaints that you have about this TV, also leave those in the comments below so people can make the best decision for themselves. I would really appreciate your comments and your help for everybody else with that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video again as always, and I will see you in the next one.